Hey guys, it's Angie. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I have something new I want to introduce to you guys. A new segment called Angie Tries It Thursdays, where I basically pick recipes that seem a little intimidating to me and just go ahead and try them for the first time ever and hope that they come up decent. But that's the whole concept of it. Just trying new stuff that I never tried before. And this can vary in recipes, you guys. It's not just one type of, of, of food. It's not just basically Mexican food or Italian food. It's just whatever I've always wanted to make myself and didn't. I'm going to try it, especially right now. I thought it would be a great idea because a lot of restaurants here in California, at least, are not um, sitting people indoors. And yeah, you can go, you still can go out and eat, but you have to sit outside and it's really, really, really hot, you guys. And it's really hard for you to sit outside. I, mean, I guess for me, it's really hot hard to sit outside and enjoy my meal, my meal when the sun is beaming on you and it's super hot and yeah they do their best you guys to do protect you from the sun but it's just impossible for the heat not to get to you so what better time than now to start trying new recipes okay so what is gazpacho gazpacho is a spicy soup that is usually made from chopped raw vegetables such as tomato onion pepper and cucumber and it's served cold so Perfect, let's do this, especially now that it's summertime, what better than a nice cold soup to go ahead and fill up that tummy. So if you guys want to see how it is that I make this gazpacho, stay tuned. Now you guys, I did go to Pinterest to find a recipe for this soup because I never made it in my life or anyone from my family ever made it. So um, I will link those two recipes, I, I picked two recipes and from those two recipes I picked whatever it is that I, I liked and I put towards this gazpacho, but I will link those two recipes that I got the inspiration from on the description box. That way you guys can pick and choose as well whatever ingredients you like from both recipes or maybe you could just go ahead and do the recipe I made. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright guys, so here are the materials and ingredients I'm going to be using to make this gazpacho. I'm going to need some celery, two English cucumbers, three tomatoes about this size, one shallot, some avocado, a green, a red, and a yellow bell pepper. You can also switch this with an orange or a, uh, the red or the yellow with an orange bell pepper. You're, you're, you'll be okay. Um, some tomato juice, some pepper, some salt, some white um, wine vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce. I can't say that, you guys. Sorry. But yeah, this right here you need and some Tabasco sauce as well and I think I mentioned the lime. I hope I did because you need that too. You're also going to need a container where you can pour the vegetables once they're blend and of course a blender so we can blend the veggies. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and um, wash the veggies and prep them for our blender and I'll see you guys soon. Alright? Alright guys, so my veggies are prepped. I went ahead and chopped up the bell pepper, the English cucumbers, and um, I peel the tomatoes. The, one of the recipes calls for you peeling the tomatoes and the other one doesn't so you guys go ahead and pick whichever one you want. I went ahead and peeled them. That's why they look a little weird but they're still tomatoes. <laughs> and then so what I did guys I only chopped half of the yellow and half of the red bell pepper for the actual soup and the other half here I chopped it up smaller to go ahead and put it on top of the soup once I have the blended portion of it so okay we're gonna go ahead and start blending and I'll see you guys when I'm done. alrighty guys it's time to start blending our veggies and also you guys I went ahead and opened up the can of tomato juice so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add one tomato at a time but I'm gonna cut it in fours just so it's easier for the blender to blend it so I'm gonna add one tomato at a time like so and then I'm just gonna get a handful of veggies just randomly just get a bunch of veggies and throw them in the blender I have here half of the shallot you guys I'm gonna add this one with the last tomato and bunch of veggies bunch of veggies that I blend so you can even take it out and just put it aside and then I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of tomato juice and I'm gonna go ahead and start blending the guys the guys 
you guys the salt and all the other spices and ingredients that and sauces that I'm gonna add I'm not gonna add it until the end so for now we're just gonna go ahead and blend the veggies okay all right guys so here's our first batch we're gonna go ahead in that container I told you guys that you were gonna need pour it on in there It's okay if it didn't blend super, super milky, you guys, because remember, we just, we want a little bit of texture in the soup. So, okay, so we're going to keep on doing the same thing we did with the first batch until we're done with our veggies. Alrighty, so here we go. transfer the gazpacho from one container to another to this one here but before I did that I went ahead and added one tablespoon of white wine vinegar one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and I apologize if I did not say that properly it's a ton tongue twister for me and I added the juice of one wine now I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh ground pepper some salt it's a lot of guys so don't panic and a few splashes of Tabasco I should have opened this before It's not a lot. It's not to be spicy. And we're going to mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. You guys, this smells really good. It smells really, really good. I'm gonna do, go ahead and do the taste test and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge for about a couple of hours for it to cool down. So, I will see you guys in two hours where I get to taste this deliciousness. All right guys, so our gazpacho has been in the fridge for about an hour and a half. I already went ahead and served myself some. I'm gonna go ahead and try it and hopefully this tastes good. I did do a uh, taste test before I put it in the fridge and it tasted really good so hopefully it tastes even better now that the, uh, the flavors of all the veggies and the sauce and the pepper and the salt have been able to go ahead and blend. So just to show you guys really quick, I did add some some of the veggies that I had on the side on the bowl that I chopped, I did add some to the top. I don't know if you guys can see there to give the soup a little bit more texture and of course I also added some avocado because avocado slice. So, alright, I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up here. I'm go ahead and taste it. Oh my gosh. It's so good. It is a really good soup, you guys. Mmm, delicious. Perfect for summer. It's nice and cool. Refreshing. Mmm. Amazing. Alright. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys return next week for another Angie Tries It Thursdays. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.